hi everyone i hope we're all doing well welcome back to my channel i am your favorite youtuber today we're going to be talking about the i remember when method but before we get into it you are more than welcome to subscribe on this channel i talk about all things law of assumption so if that sounds good to you i would love to have you here i also want to thank keen for sponsoring today's video keen connects you with talented tarot readers and astrologers that provide you with a deeper understanding of your personal situation. I always love using tarot cards and Keen because it gives me so much clarity on whether or not I'm on the right track with my manifestations or whether or not I'm in the right state. These readers have unique specialties designed to help you with your specific situation. Do you want to know if your subconscious mind is reflecting your desired reality? Do you want to know based on your current state and techniques whether or not they'll reach out. Keen has a reader for you. And the thing is, you are in control. You have so many readers ready to connect instantly via messages or phone calls. Go to trykeen.com slash reader or click on the first link in the description box down below to try your first five minute reading for $1. remember when I didn't know about the I remember when method and my life was completely different. My life has just up leveled and up leveled and up leveled now that I know about the I remember when method. So think of that thing that you are manifesting right now. The I remember when method simply put is you already being in the state of having that manifestation and pretending as though you are looking back, remembering the times when you did not have that manifestation and how bad you wanted it. For example, if you're manifesting a committed relationship or with your SP, you would say something like, I remember when I really wanted to be in a relationship with this person and now I am and now I feel so fulfilled. I feel so full of life and full of love. I feel cared for, I feel comforted. I feel like I can talk to someone anytime that I want. I feel like I can tell them anything that I want. I can literally be 100% myself with this person. I remember when I had no one to come home to at the end of a long day, and now I do. I remember feeling really depleted. I felt empty. I felt like I was struggling all the time, and now, all of that is gone because I have my SP. Or if you're manifesting fame, it could be something like, I remember when I was fiending for fame, I wanted a million subscribers, I wanted a million followers on TikTok, I wanted to be the biggest A-list celebrity in Hollywood, and now that I am, I can't believe that that is what I wanted. Like, yeah, I'm going to all of the parties and I know all of these famous people, but it's not a big deal anymore. Like, this is just my life. And I remember when I was in the trenches really wanting that life and I'm so happy now and I feel like I'm actually living my best life. And I just remember feeling like it would never happen and it just, happened and now I feel so successful. I feel like my purpose has been fulfilled. I feel amazing. You don't need to go by how you feel. It's literally just putting yourself in the position of you, the you that already has that manifestation. And what would you say? What would you think? For me, I'm a very feely person. So I would start riffing on, I feel accomplished. I feel purposeful. I feel I don't know what that might look like for you, but whatever works for you, whatever rocks your boat is the thing that you should be doing. So the first thing that I mentioned is kind of riffing on this. So just talking out loud to yourself. This is not a stale affirmation like I cannot believe that now I am an A-list celebrity. Like that is just like a stale one sentence affirmation that you would be repeating to yourself. However, I'm talking about riffing. You're just basically talking to yourself 
or side note sidebar you can visualize yourself talking to your mom about this like oh my god do you remember when we used to talk about like what i wanted to do at school and now i'm just this famous celebrity like i still feel like that little girl that's 10 years old with all of these posters around my room like billie eilish with her justin bieber poster now she's working with justin bieber making a song with justin bieber i can't believe that happened to her but most importantly i can't believe that that's happened to me i had angelina jolie i had michael b jordan i had all of these famous well-known respected actors actresses on my wall because I wanted to be that and now I'm working with these people I'm highly respected by these people I'm going to parties and having deep long meaningful conversations with these people mom can you believe that it's like rappers and rap songs being like I remember when I didn't have shit to eat I remember being that in the dirt I remember this I remember that you gotta be like a rapper but instead of unless you want to be a rapper instead of talking about I remember when I my teacher told me that I could be shit and now I make her salary every single day and now I get what you get in 10 years in two days you can use a telephone technique like calling up your friend or your mom or your uncle or your boss or whatever literally imagine you are talking to your current boss in this 3d reality but you are pretending like he is your ex-boss don't actually call them up <laughs> but imagine you're talking to them and you're like Oh, do you remember when you used to talk to me like shit? You used to treat me like shit. You thought that I was like gonna go nowhere. I was gonna do nothing. And now look at me like I I make what you make double that times three times four times ten, bitch. Look at me now. Whatever it is. Or it can be you simply writing in a diary entry like January 1st, 2025. Oh my God. Around about this time last year, I was down in the dumps about this boy and now we are moved in together. Can you believe that it only took a year for us to move in? He's about to propose, like everything's looking up. I remember when I was so desperate looking for ways to contact him, to text him happy birthday, to create a story on Instagram that resonates with him so that somehow, some way he could message me and like my story. I remember when I used to be so desperate for love and now all of that love is given to me by this person. Riff as much as you want, you are free to go for a second or 10 minutes or shit, even an hour if you want. You can even use an affirmation for this. You can say, I remember when I didn't have a million subscribers and now I have a million subscribers. Granted, it's a little bit long, but you know what I mean. I remember when I didn't have this SP and now I'm so happy because I have this SP. I remember when I didn't have my puppy and now I'm going on walks with him every single day and I'm loving it. I remember when I used to work a nine to five and now I'm traveling the world whenever I want. Pick the best technique inside of this technique for you, meaning you're using Using the I remember when method however you are using it in the form of an affirmation or a visualization or scripting or riffing rampaging literally just meditating for 10 minutes and just free form imagining yourself being like oh my god I can't imagine I can't believe I cannot even fathom how I was back then how desperate I was and now I am literally on cloud nine so try this out let me know how it goes i love this technique i'm so excited for you guys and i will see you in the next video i trust that this video gave you the guidance that you needed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because i know you loved it i hope you have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next video bye everyone i remember when i used to manifest a hundred thousand subscribers while doing sats and it worked and I wanted it so bad. I remember when I would manifest a million subscribers from the morning to the afternoon to the evening, from the evening to the morning, bitch. And I got it. 
I remember when I was so loyal, so dedicated, so trusting in my manifestation routine, so trusting in myself that I manifested a million subscribers. I remember that mentality that I had that the law of assumption is real and I can get anything that I want if I just pull my mind to it. It is whatever I say it is. 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 And now I have a million subscribers, bitch.